Hey guys and welcome to another episode of UA Eats. I'm UA and I am here back in Cat's Deli here in New York City. Now we've been here before. This is a legendary Jewish deli that's been around for over 140 years and it makes hands down the best pastrami I've ever had in my life. Definitely the best pastrami in New York City and probably the whole East Coast. It's a really iconic New York restaurant. A lot of legends have eaten here throughout the years and because of that, the place is just decorated with lots of cool photos of icons throughout the years. It's a little bit empty right now, but that's because they literally just opened. I have a flight to LA soon, so this was the only time I had to film. Now, a lot of people say that Cat's Deli is the best pastrami in the whole US, but the only other place that they say rivals Cat's Deli is Langer's in LA. So we're flying to LA this weekend because we have a wedding this weekend, but when I'm in LA, I have to eat at Langer's because Langer's and Cat's Deli are the only two pastrami restaurants that are seriously in contention for best pastrami in the US if not the world. So because of that, before our LA flight, we decided to hit up Cat's Deli first and remind ourselves what the pastrami is like. And honestly, it's hard to do much better than Cat's Deli because just look, even at eight in the morning, they just opened. I was a little bit afraid that quality would be less good in the morning, but just look at this steaming hot, amazing pastrami. I've been here for lunch. I've been here for dinner. Even at 8 a.m., it's exactly the same as I remembered it. Let's take a bite as a send off to our LA trip. Just check out that delicious, steamy, fatty pastrami. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. I mean, what can I say? I'll just do my best to describe this amazing sandwich. It's just deliciously fatty. It has a bit of a chew to it, but it also comes apart really easily. Even though there is a chew to it, which I actually kind of like because it's kind of nice to chew pastrami, but it still comes apart relatively with ease. It's like this amazing in-between texture. The pastrami has a great bark, so it kind of gives it that nice charred barbecue, like Texas brisket-like texture as well. And that mustard, it's not just your mustard from a tube. That is some nice spicy mustard. It's got a real good kick to it. Their mustard is to die for as well. Mm. Wow, that might have been the most legendary breakfast I've ever had, and right before a flight too. But honestly, it's hard for me to imagine a better pastrami sandwich than this, but some people say Langer's in LA is even better. So we're flying to LA now just to find out. Uh, no, just kidding. I'm actually in LA for a wedding this weekend, but we can't miss Langer's while we're there. This pastrami was the best I've ever had, but how will Langer's compare? Will it dethrone Katz's as my favorite pastrami ever? Let the battle between East and West Coast commence. All right, let's go. All right, well, we just got off our flight. We're pretty tired, so let's go to our hotel and check in and recuperate for the night and Tomorrow, let's get some pastrami. All right, guys, so it's the next day and we're here in Los Angeles. We're in LA. We're here to eat at Langer's. We ate at Cass's yesterday and, you know, one of my favorite sandwiches ever. The best pastrami I've ever had, at least in New York or the East Coast. But a lot of people, critics and foodies, they say Langer's is as good or even better. So here it is. Uh, it's kind of a nice looking storefront and it has a sign that advertises it as world famous hot pastrami. All right, let's go get some pastrami. All right, guys, we're inside Langer's, the legendary LA Jewish deli. Looking at the inside of this restaurant, it's almost like a whole different world. You really feel like you're stepping back in time. And even though Cat's Deli precedes this place by, I think, a good 40 years, you do feel kind of like you're stepping into that similar era. Let's look at the menu. All right, just taking a look at the Langer's menu. Right off the bat, they're advertising their 
little Michelin gourmand symbol. They have these gourmand stickers now for places that aren't really eligible for Michelin stars. Like they're more casual, less fine dining type restaurants. But this gourmand like yum face, it kind of signifies a good local cheap eat. So interesting that Langer's has this, but Cat's Deli does not have one of these gourmand stickers, unless Cat's Deli is just not advertising it. Now a ton of great looking delicious Jewish deli classics. Corned beef looks good. Romanian tenderloin skirt steak. That's definitely interesting. Big ham. <laughs> I thought this was a Jewish deli. I guess it doesn't keep kosher. And then all sorts of other items like liver and brisket, blintzes and latkes. And when you open the menu up, it kind of unlocks like a whole new world of menu items of amazing Jewish deli items. So lots of things at our disposal here, but our mind is made up. We went to Cat's Deli yesterday before our flight. Uh, with the intention of comparing and contrasting these. So hot pastrami it's gonna be. We gotta keep it one-to-one. -one. Let's see who ultimately wins this East versus West battle. Langers or Cat's Deli? The pastrami throne is at stake. Let's just hope that this East versus West battle doesn't end the way that the uh, hip hop one did. Anyways, let's order. One more thing I wanted to say about this Langers place is Cat's Deli is more of like a cafeteria setting, like your working man cafeteria setting. You order at a counter and then you just sit where Forever, while Langer's here is more of a sit-down place. And also, they don't slice the meat in front of you like at Cat's Deli. They kind of do everything behind the scenes. And the weight, I gotta say, compared to Cat's Deli, much, much faster. Because as I was yipping and yapping, the server's like, hey, hey, you, the food's here. So let's take a look. So just looking at the sandwich right away, uh, one thing that's apparent is compared to Cat's Deli, it's not as large as the Cat's Deli sandwich. The Cat's Deli sandwich was humongous. You could probably feed two people with it depending on how hungry you are. The Langer sandwich is cheaper. It's $22. I think Katz's is about 26 bucks now, but I guess you do sort of get what you pay for. Like at Katz's, the sandwich is stacked sky high. Well, this one is stacked nicely, but um, it's more like a normal sandwich portion. Like it's not like this big, it's like this big, which is good. I mean, portion control, I guess, but it is slightly less indulgent. Now, if you open it up though, the insides both look completely delicious and amazing. The Langer's one, interesting, is kind of more like strips, like the Cat's Deli sandwich. It is like your typical fat slices of pastrami, while here it's kind of like you get some more smaller individual slices, and they all kind of make up a great sandwich together. Still, it looks good. I mean, it kind of has like varying redness. It almost looks like a medium rare pastrami or something. And yeah, it looks fatty. It's got a nice bark. It looks really, really delicious. And uh, yeah, let's close it up before it gets cold. All right, the first bite of the legendary Langer's pastrami sandwich. The only other pastrami sandwich, maybe in the world, that's on the same tier as Cat's Deli. You know, let me take a second bite because this bread, unlike Cat's Deli, is much more crispy and thick. So I got a big bite of the crispy crust, which kind of masks the pastrami flavor of it. Oh. Oh. oh, that is incredible. Honestly, guys, I had really, really high expectations. Like when all these places are saying, this place holds a candle to Cat's Deli, my expectations were through the roof. It has met my expectations and more. Mm. Oh man, that is out of this world. I can't even talk, I just wanna keep eating. Just look at that amazing, fatty, juicy, charred bark pastrami. Hmm. All right, so I'm already down to my last bite. Well, not my last bite, I still have a whole second half of sandwich left. I think this pastrami really is like at least equal to Katz's. It's that good. If you're in LA or passing through LA and you like pastrami, I think this is a must eat. How, how can I try to explain it? The pastrami kind of like, it's kind of more tender than Katz's. I mean, I think the Katz's pastrami kind of has like this in-between consistency where some parts do come apart in your mouth, 
but other parts are kind of chewy. The Langer's pastrami though, is just flat out more tender. It also kind of has like a fattier consistency. The Katz's Deli is plenty fatty as well, but I would say, not a complaint, just splitting hairs, I would say that the Katz's pastrami does kind of taste a bit greasy at times. What's interesting about this pastrami though, is it tastes fatty, but it's not really greasy. Like you just get that delicious fat flavor, but not feeling like you need to, you know, pop some Pepsi or something. And just like Katz's, it's got an amazing bark, a bark kind of reminiscent of like Texas barbecue, like a barbecue brisket. Just delicious char, delicious seasoning, really adding some smokiness and like almost like a texture change up to the sandwich as well. But I've been tooting this pastrami's horn the whole time. Uh, you know, we talked about pros, let's talk about cons. The cons I would say is that while this bread is definitely better quality than Katz's Deli, like at Katz's Deli the bread is, uh, you know, it tastes fairly generic, which is fine. Like, you know, it really is just like a blank canvas for the pastrami at Katz's. But the bread at Langer's I think is a little bit thick and the crispiness of this crust, while usually awesome, I feel like for pastrami it is a little bit too thick, it is a little bit too crunchy and it does, you know, kind of like my first bite, it does kind of like mask the pastrami flavor a little bit with too much thick starch. And my final complaint, unlike Katz's, this sandwich is $22, but it is not quite as thick as Katz's. The Katz's sandwich was more like maybe up to here. You know, that's how thick the Katz's sandwich is. And the price here is actually, it's not that far away from Katz's. This sandwich is $22, Katz's is $26. So it's cheaper, but you definitely get way less and it's not commensurate with the price. But those are my main two complaints. Other than that, the sandwich is amazing. But now it is time for the final question. The question we came here to answer. Who does the best pastrami in the US? New York or LA? Katz's Deli or Langer's Deli? And uh, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's tough because they're both great sandwiches. The Katz's sandwich is bigger. It's in a really lively, fun, touristy neighborhood. The Langer sandwich is cheaper, but it's smaller. The atmosphere is a little bit more standard old school diner like. It's a cool atmosphere, but I almost prefer the lively cat's atmosphere, call me crazy. The taste of the sandwich though, it almost can't be beat. So, ah. Uh. You know what? I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say that I love Cat's Deli. You know, I live in New Jersey, so Cat's Deli is always gonna be more readily available to me. And I'm gonna love Cat's Deli to death forever. But I'm gonna say, not taking into account price or portion size, I gotta say, the Langer sandwich, slight edge. I just think that the pastrami is tastier. The Katz pastrami was good too, but the Katz pastrami, it was a bit chewier and it was greasier. Some people might like that. I mean, I'm sure it's partially an intentional style, but I think I prefer that this Langer's pastrami has all that smokiness and fattiness and that delicious smoky bark from the Katz pastrami, but without that oiliness and greasiness. Like, I'm just gonna say, I suffer a bit from acid reflux, so, I do carry these Pepsid pills everywhere I go, especially when I film these videos. It's not always the healthiest food I'm eating, but eating this sandwich, like I downed half of this pastrami sandwich and I even gave myself some time to sit and digest and I don't feel anything. It tastes fatty, but it's not greasy and oily. It's not triggering my reflux. So pure taste, Langer's wins, LA wins, West Coast, the best coast this time around. That being said though, this is of course just my opinion. Taste is subjective. So some of you in the comments, let me know if you prefer Katz's Deli, or if you've been to Langer's, let me know what you think, or let me know if there's a different pastrami place that you prefer. Let me know in the comments because great minds eat alike. Anyways guys, I think that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my video, if you like my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. That way you stay up to date whenever I post another video. I have a whole glorious second half of pastrami on rye sandwich left. So I would like some alone time with my sandwich. Until next time, I'll see you later. Oh really?